people around the world opening up. We have Great Britain saying we want to live with COVID. Right here in New York City, we have the mayor saying he can't wait to do away with mask mandates, with vaccine mandates. What is the risk we're moving too quickly away from masks and vaccine mandates? Well, if you look at the current uh, guidelines of the CDC, where they're basing their guidelines on cases alone, as you probably have heard, they will be essentially updating uh, and modifying the metrics for their guidelines. In other words, not just relying on cases, but relying on severity of disease, particularly hospitalizations, as well as hospital capacities in a given location, such as at the county level. If you look at that right now, pulling back on masks is a bit risky. However, if you look at the curve, how sharply it's coming down on a daily basis by a certain percentage each day in both cases and hospitalizations, we are clearly heading in the right direction. The real question that we're all going to pay attention to is that when you pull back on mitigations like masking requirements, be they in indoor places, workplaces, or the schools, what is going to be the reaction of the virus to that? Is it going to continue to go down? Is it going to plateau as opposed to keep going down? Or is it going to rebound? It is somewhat risky, but I believe if we keep going in the right direction with the cases going down, then there will be an epidemiological justification for doing that. But it's just right now, just at that transition zone where the prediction of pulling back might actually be the right thing, given the next iteration of what the CDC will be recommending based on their new metrics, which I think will make the country look on that map of guidelines, look like there's less of a risk in certain areas than was previously thought, according to the prior metrics.